Canadian Bulldog here from Wrestling Merchandise and Memories. That's uh, merchandiseandmemories.com. And we're now going to do the second edition of Bulldog's Unboxings. And you see here, this is my AEW figure collection, which is the first, I think, seven series of AEW Unrivaled, as well as a couple of other fig like one-off figures and uh, the first AEW Unmatched series. So I figured, okay, you know, I've got all of those. I was going to stop at one point, and then uh, I just kept going. And <laughs> at this point, I've, uh, as you can see here, I've purchased quite a few. So I've got to start unboxing these suckers and uh, getting into my collection. To, in, in fact, as you see here, there is very, very little real estate on the AEW side. So I'm probably going to have to build another shelf just to house the collection. And uh, for today, of course, this is the very, very bottom. I don't know if I'm going to, you know what? I'm not going to do the yank it and then see everything fall because as hilarious as that would be, um, I might dent all the, the figures or whatever. So I'm just going to pick up this bottom one and it's Sting! Sting, the, uh, this is the debut AEW figure of Sting or one of, I think there was a few different variants that were released at the same time, but this is the, the mainstream one from AEW Unmatched Series 2. As you can see here, the Luminaries collection. Uh, I had, I mean, this is the reason why I kept collecting AEW beyond uh, the first <laughs> seven series of Unrivaled and the first one of Unmatched. I just had to keep going when I saw this figure because uh, it's so amazing. I own um, probably a dozen Sting figures, but this is by far, far the best so let's uh let's unbox this bad boy and see what we got so we got the box here and i've got my my scissors i used to actually try to keep these aew figure boxes absolutely pristine when i opened them um but i just then decided it, you know i wasn't going to keep them all there it just took up way 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 too much room so unless i get a very rare figure at this point i'm just gonna open them and toss them um like a chase figure or something like that but I am curious to see what we've got here as I open this up. And I should just really quickly mention on the back here, this is from the December 2nd, 2020, Dynamite in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm not sure if that was Winter is Coming or something different. It actually probably wasn't. Uh, but anyways, it's uh, just a really, really good likeness. And you can see all the other folks on the Series 2 Unmatched collection here. Okay, so let's open this up now. Let's see if I cut this properly. Like I said, I, I don't have to keep these pristine, so I'm gonna try and just open this as quickly as possible. So it's less awkward on the camera. Put that aside for now. We've got the uh, the packaging here. There we go, you can see it on the side. And just so you don't hear me wrestling with the, the plastic too much, I've already kind of broken it out. And uh, let's see what we've got. This is, man, this is such a great likeness. I love how his hair is lighter than a lot of the previous Sting figures. I mean, it was almost a grayish, silverish hue by the time he debuted in AEW, but this is this is good. The uh, the face skin is, is just phenomenal. You think that the, the person's almost alive. Uh, and then he's got the merch shirt on. What I do like about these AEW figures, you can see here that they plaque, they plaque, sure. They pack the plastic, uh, coating around here, which I'm not going to attempt to to free right now, but it just does uh, ensure that you don't get all the, the residue from the jacket on the figure before you take it out. Um, I know WWE does that to some some of their things now too. Um, yeah, so I just love the, the level of detail on this. He's got uh, chain, interchangeable hands, as you can see here, which uh, which is fine. I don't, I don't think I'm going to need them. And then uh, his his trusty baseball bat as well, which I may pose him with. But yeah, look at that, look at that. And then just at the back here, if I can stand it up for a second, uh, it's got the Sting Scorpion logo on it. And uh, you know, the, the jacket is, it, it's sometimes a task to remove these. Sometimes you have to remove the hands first to, to free it off and whatever. But I'm very happy to have him uh, posing with the trench coat as that is, to me, that is, the icon sting just so. thought i'd do a bit of uh just for fun some sting comparison side by side comparisons of his character over the years so this was the first sting figure i believe from glue uh, there were 
uh, three or four other ones in that line. And then this is from the original San Francisco Toy Makers. Uh, this is his Bend and Flex figure. And then from Toy Biz, this is the Wolfpack Sting one, which uh, I have a, a number of stings from that era, but this one definitely stands out. I uh, don't have any TNA Sting figures, but here you see the uh, one of the WWE, one of the many WWE Sting figures from the WCW era, uh, which is, it's a bit basic, but it's fine. And then finally, we've got the more uh, modern AEW Sting. Uh, height is basically the same, but what I do like is they've they thickened him up a little bit as he gets a bit older, his, his hairline is, is going a little bit, uh, aren't we all? But anyways, it, it just it just goes to show you uh, the evolution of Sting over the years. And this is just a fraction of them. I've got uh, probably a dozen more, at least, of Sting, which you can find on our wrestling figure database. And then finally, as I mentioned earlier, I've got a lot of AEW figures, two shelves worth right now, plus you know, a dozen more standing up there and a few weapons and the LJ and Cody there. So I've only got a few spots left. I'm going to give this this prestigious slot of honor to the Stinger there because I do, do think he, he definitely stands out and he looks menacingly over the AEW roster here. Um, so it's the perfect place to see him. Love this Sting figure. Uh, one of the best purchases I think I've made in a while. And uh, thank you for watching. Uh, keep checking out Wrestling Merchandise and Memories at merchandiseandmemories.com.